हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स एंड बीएससी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम ग्राफ थियरी व्हिच इज द वॉक पाथ हेमिल्टोनियन ग्राफ एंड यूलियन ग्राफ विच आर देयर सो वॉट आर दीज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दीज थिंग्स सो प्रीवियसली आई हैव अपलोडेड वीडियोज ऑन डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स यू कैन गो टू आई टैब ऑन फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन और यू कैन फाइंड इट इन द पिंड कमेंट लेट्स वॉच दिस We will talk about walk, trail, and path. But at first, we will talk about what is walk. A walk is a finite alternating sequence. V1, E1, V2, E2, V3, E3. Meaning here, V1, V2, V3 are the vertex. Okay. So E1, E2, E3. What are they? They are edges. And this here, beginning and ending with the same or different vertices. Meaning here, it starts from V1. End ends at V1, or also if it ends at some vertex. So that's when we will call that a walk. Right, students? Now pay attention. as i want to show you what the walk would be like imagine you start from here then go here go here and then go here so students see here this will be a e2 after that here will be b e9 and then here g e10 and finally a so this is what walk right if we don't take this we go around and take this just take it like this it goes from here then went here and then went here then went here then just ends here it's not necessary that it ends here so students like we have a e2 and then we have b e4 c e8 g e11 and f okay so what do we have here a walk right so in this way i have given some other examples you can understand them here let's move on now students let's talk about what is the length of walk if we are taking a walk then the number of edges that we are covering what is that that is called as length of walk for example if i am telling you that i started from here went from here to here and then from here to here and then here and you have to find out what is the length of this walk so how many edges have it covered 1 2 3 4 so here so what will be the length of this walk it will be 4 is this clear let's see what is closed and open walk so what is a closed walk and what is an open walk so here what we have is open walk okay because we started from here and ended up there from where it starts and ends there only then it's called a closed walk but if it doesn't end from where it started and end somewhere else so we call it an open walk for example if we start from here and end here then this will be a closed walk for us this is mentioned a walk is said to be closed if its origin and terminus vertex is equal otherwise it is called an open walk for example i explained it here now we will talk about the trail what is a trail any walk having different edges is called a trail meaning here whatever walk we have the edges should not repeat right now students let me show it to you here you can see no edge is being repeated here right so this walk will be what it will be trail okay now let's say if i take different walk i went here then i went here then i went here then i went here and then i came back here okay so if i am doing this it is clear that in that case we will not have a trail because here in this case the edge it is being repeated right so this is a bit you need to understand where the edge repeats then that is not a trail where the edge occurs only once then what do we have it is a trail that is within the walk let's talk about circuit a closed trail is called a circuit if we have a closed trail like this red color right if we take this one here okay yes this one we start from here we went here we went here then we went here and we came here right so students you can see here that we have a walk we have a trail because no edge is repeating here in this so this will become a circuit right so this is how we can understand it now we will talk about this path okay so what is a path a walk is called a path if all vertices are not repeated look what is the difference between path and trail here here edge should not be repeated if there is a walk and the vertex is not being repeated there so that is what we call path let's take an example take this example in this here we are starting from here then we went here later we went here we went here and we came here now you will say sir here a repeats no it's okay because it is ending from where it started so that will work that is possible but there shouldn't be any vertex repetition in middle if this happens then what do we have we call it a path right let's talk about cycle a closed path is called a cycle we went here then we went here we went here and we came here it's closed so this will be what it will be a cycle right here if i erase this by chance yes students if by chance if i erase this so this will be a path but it won't be a cycle right because it's not closed getting my point 
and there is no vertex repetition happening here, right? So, here this is the path, right? But to, to do the cycle, we need to get it back from the start point. So, right? This is what you need to understand. Let us move on. We will discuss about Eulerian path. A path in a graph is said to be the Eulerian path if it traverses its edge in the graph once and only once. Here, if we take any walk within the graph, then when we will take that walk, we should cover all the edges that are there and should not repeat them, right? Is this clear or not? So, a walk which covers all and do not repeat is known as what? It is called the Eulerian. Now, I will give some examples. If I start walk from here, I went here, I went here, I came here, then I came here, then I came here. You can see that every edge is covered here and nothing is being repeated. So, this path is known as what? It is a Eulerian path. So, we write this like this, u then e1, then v, then e2, then w, then e5, then y, e4, x, we have e3 here and again we have w, right? So, this is how we understand this here. So, we will move on now, Eulerian circuit. I told you earlier, whenever we talk about circuit, we apply the closed concept, right? A circuit in a graph is said to be Eulerian circuit if it traverses each edge in graph once and only once. So, first it should cover all the edges here, next it should not repeat and finally it should be closed. So, it should end at the point. It was started from, if this happens, then this type of circuit is known as what? Eulerian circuit, okay? Is this clear? Let me take an example if I start from here. So, I came here, then here, then I came here, then here, then here, then I came here, then here, then here, then here, then came here, then here. From here we came here, then we went like this, then came here, then came here and then we came back here. We started here and we are ending here. Now in this all the edges are being covered, right? So this will be what? It will be Eulerian circuit. Let's move ahead. Now let's see what is a Eulerian graph. So what is an Eulerian graph? A connected graph which contains Eulerian circuit. It means if we have a connected graph and it covers the Eulerian circuit. So this type of graph is known as what? It is called as Eulerian graph. Here this is the Eulerian graph because this is Eulerian circuit and all are connected. Okay. If you look at the vertex, all are connected. So this will be a Eulerian graph. Now just for example, let's see this. Now students, this will also be a Eulerian graph. Let's see why I started from here, went to here, then here, then here. I went here, went here, went here. Now you see all the edges are being covered here. It's ending where it was started. And this is also connected, meaning this will be what? A Eulerian graph. Let's move ahead. Now let's talk about what is Hamiltonian path. What is Hamiltonian path? A path which contains every vertex of graph G exactly once is called Hamiltonian graph. In that case, edge should be covered. Here the vertex should be covered and it should be covered only once. It shouldn't be covered twice. So, this is difference between a Eulerian and a Hamiltonian. In a Eulerian, the edge should not repeat and all edges should be covered once. Here, the vertex should not repeat and all the vertices should be covered, right? So, what do we call the path of this type? A Hamiltonian path. Like if we talk about this example, here we have to find whether it's a Hamiltonian path or not. So, we can take this because the first thing is that all vertex should be covered. Now, if I start from here, if I take this, take this, take this, take this. So, here you can see u, y, w, x, y, all these are the vertex. And if I am drawing this graph from this side like this, then this is covering all the vertices. So, this will be what? It will be Hamiltonian path. Clear? So, this is Hamiltonian path, right? But Hamiltonian graph is a different concept. The vertex should not repeat there. We will study about it ahead, but we have the path here. Here is no problem like that. Because when we close, for example, if I do this here and here like this, if I will close this, then this vertex W that is here will repeat. That's a concept for the future, but here we are talking about the path. So, in path, we should have all the vertices covered, right? So, what we have here is Hamiltonian path. Let's move ahead. We will talk about the Hamiltonian circuit. So, the circuit means we are talking about closed, a circuit that passes through each of the vertices in a graph G and exactly one except the starting vertex, the end vertex is called a Hamiltonian circuit, okay? So basically, our starting and the vertex that is in end can repeat. So all the rest of the vertices should not be repeated. Also, all vertices should be covered and where it starts, it should end there, it should be closed, then only it will be the Hamiltonian circuit. Now, for example, if I talk about this, here the vertex will be same. If you start from here, go here, go here, go here and go there. Okay, so this will be what? it will be a Hamiltonian circuit. You will say, sir, this is not covered. Students, this is edge. We have to cover the vertex, clear? Even if this E3 is open, it's fine. Now see this, whether this is a Hamiltonian circuit. Here in this, a problem will occur. When you start from here, went here, then here, then here, and when you connect this with you to close it. 
then this w will repeat twice once on this side and once on this side so the vertex is repeating therefore it won't be the hamiltonian circuit right now let's see hamiltonian graph what is a hamiltonian graph a connected graph which contains hamiltonian circuit if we have connected graph and students if it covers the hamiltonian circuit so it will be what a hamiltonian graph for example like this one right so if by chance i take a closed circuit that covers this graph yes covers this graph so this will be what a hamiltonian graph just like you see students this is what we are dealing with right so this will be what a hamiltonian graph right but here this will be not be a hamiltonian graph because when you will try to cover this here the vertex w will repeat therefore it will not be a hamiltonian graph is this clear now let's take few questions determine minimum hamiltonian circuit for the graph given below so here you have to find out what will be the minimum hamiltonian circuit that will represent the graph that is given here in this question okay clear so students let's take this first all the vertex that are here should be what they should be covered right students keep in mind that edges doesn't matter here okay your vertex should be covered that is all we need okay see it is covering all the vertex so this will be what it will be a hamiltonian circuit what does hamiltonian circuit mean it should be closed it should also cover all the vertices let's move on so let's look at the next question draw graph with six vertices containing hamiltonian circuit but not eulerian circuit so you need to draw a graph with six vertices that has a hamiltonian circuit but not an eulerian circuit so it means all the vertex should be covered it should come only once and it should be closed and as soon as we cover it then its edges should repeat getting my point and it should be closed okay and if edges will repeat then it will be hamiltonian but not eulerian we have to draw such graph so students let's do one thing let's take a graph like this i will take this like this here right if i take this here like this then this like this then like this so you can see here that we have more edges here than vertex and number of vertex is only 5 right can you see it so you can see this listen this 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 we have a graph here and listen all all edges all all vertices what is it doing am i right mm. students here this is doing what it is completing all the vertex so it is a hamiltonian circuit but students when we will try to cover the edges edges will repeat like here let's say i started from here went here went here went here went here went here i will cover this edge so when i try to cover this edge this edge here will repeat right so ultimately what's happening here is that the edge is being repeated so this is a hamiltonian circuit but not an eulerian circuit and obviously the vertices are fewer and edges here are more it is understood if edge is more than somewhere or other it will be repeated to cover or to make it close therefore this is hamiltonian but not an eulerian circuit is this clear let's talk about it check the graph is hamiltonian or euler you are asked whether it's hamiltonian or euler you can see it in front of you how many vertex we have here number of vertex is 8 now what is the number of edges so edges are more in number see here 4 and 4 and 4 so here we have 12 edges right so it's understood that it will be hamiltonian but not eulerian right you can check it so how we will check it now please see i will start from here then i went here so then i go here then here then i will go here then here then this then this and finally this okay you can see that this is covering all the vertex and it is also close therefore it will be what it will be hamiltonian graph okay now students when we will try to cover all the edges then what will happen edges will repeat therefore it will be not euler now let's take example students let's say i am covering this edge then i'll take this then this then i will take this then i will take this then this then i will take this and then if i will cover this this will repeat if i'm going to cover it then again something will repeat right so here edges will repeat is this clear since we can not cover all the edges and close it therefore it will not be eulerian but it will be hamiltonian clear let's move on so next question says discuss the diagram shown below basically you are given a diagram and you are asked what will be its hamiltonian circuit and what will be its hamiltonian path so students i told you what does hamiltonian circuit means it means the graph which covers all the vertex okay so from here i take it here right then i take it here 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 so students if we look at its graph then it will be of what type it will be the hamiltonian circuit right if i talk about hamiltonian path then we don't need the path to be closed right so in that case you can make this like this right now this will be like this and this will be like this so this will be what it will be its hamiltonian path okay it means if you don't draw this upper line then also it will be fine because we don't need it to be closed since all vertex is covered 
here in this graph that we have see what should the hamiltonian path do it should cover all the vertex right even if it's not close then also it's fine so this is covering all the vertex therefore this will be what it will be its hamiltonian path and this will be hamiltonian circuit so now is it hamiltonian graph yes it is hamiltonian because definition of hamiltonian graph is it should cover all the vertex it should be closed and what else it should be connected so it is fulfilling all the criteria therefore it will be a hamiltonian graph now you are being asked if this is euler graph so you can see that the number of vertex is less mm. so here the number of vertices is decreasing but the number of edges is more so as soon as you try to cover all edges some edge will repeat therefore it will not be euler graph okay so these two will be there you can check it if you want so to check what i will do i cover its edges like i came here so if i will come here then its edge will repeat and if i will come here then also its edge will repeat so something will repeat okay is this clear so in this way we can understand it this question is for your comment box i need answer in comment i want to tell you that complete playlist of discrete mathematics is available here you can watch it here my new channel where i am uploading lot of short tricks you can go there and check it and here you can subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on instagram thank you so much for watching me like share and subscribe to the channel please comment below the answer to this question thank you